well, I got a good job, and we got a good home. That's what unsaved people will tell you that don't go to church. We're doing just fine. But baby, one day, uh, you're going to die and leave that job and leave the house. Then what do you have? Paul said, you brought nothing into this world. And it's for certain you will take nothing out. Talk to me, saints. Then what have you done? What have you accomplished? You see, not only is there a physical side, and I don't want to make it all spiritual either because we need some balance here. Not only does God expect things to happen physically in a marriage, he also expects some spiritual things to come about in terms of maturity and balance also. That's why he brought two people together to bring about balance. That's why she's called the help meet, brother. She's there to help balance you spiritually. I'm going to ask you some questions. And I want you to be honest with me, but I want to share some strengths and weaknesses. It's amazing how, brothers and sisters, it's amazing how we, when we look at our potential spouses before we got married, all we saw were their strengths. All we saw was their strengths. <laughs> And most certainly they have weaknesses. And that's why God sent you. Are you hearing this? That's why I'm saying sent you. I'm talking to the legal husband <laughs> and legal wife. I'm generally, sad to say men are lazy. And it isn't always that the women are more spiritual. Men are just lazy about spiritual things. And seeing when you're so much more effervescent, you're in the church first. You pray him into the church. Thank God he'll get here. But as sure as he gets here, if you aren't careful, you'll pull that man right out and put him and drive him into another church. You left this one because of some pettiness. Something of the flesh that Paul talks about there in 1 Corinthians carnal things you see sisters you're right he needs to be all that you said he should be according to the word and you're right you probably were the more spiritual person in the beginning but iron sharpens iron and you need to understand as I've said it before and I need to say it again that while that man is coming to Christ you have to be very very careful that you don't do something that cause him to bolt off from the church. Why? Because God has not raised up a church and wants everybody in different ministries. I understand what I just said. Meaning, there are special ministries that God wants certain people in. And if you aren't careful, you pull that man out of that church where God has raised up the proper supervision to be over him. And take him to a ministry where there are no men. And he will not be able to relate because iron sharpens iron. 